Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Detroit, the ultimate car tycoon classic of a game. We uh, just made it not quite so uh, smooth sailingly into the third episode, just two years down the line from starting out the campaign, and uh, our sales are looking pretty good, that uh, is clear, and uh, I just discovered that we are selling quite underpriced. I don't know how these competitors know what price they should sell it, but um, let's just follow along. I think we can up the price by... Uh, oh no, no. I mean the Vela uh, MK3 has a good pricing for that. And uh, the Vela MK2, which is our family sedan, is just $100 cheaper than the competition. 10%? That sounds like a good little discount to have on all your cars. And we are certainly... Uh, certainly not uh, in a bad spot with that we're making plenty of profits but let's see we can hire more technicians we need to put these profits to use after all uh, some of you have noted in the comments that uh, yeah it seemed like we unlocked tech just at the same time even though we had done some research and I wonder how long this will continue with us pumping into research but at some point we will have so many technicians and yeah that that I just remember that I was like 30 years ahead of the competition at the end of the game um, the last game I played like five years ago or something so uh, let's just hire all of them all of them we need all the technicians and uh, then uh, sign them as well and what do we really want I think we really really want to have um, the suspension but also a better engine so maybe let's go with the engine first so we could make a sports car or something as soon as we have one or any luxury car I guess would be better as well and that is one of the <laughs> main main problems with this game I want to discuss as a design thing how are you supposed to know which components are preferred and why there is no information whatsoever about these components um, there's no power rating there's no weight um, but not that it would mean much because you don't know what the weight means in the car calculations in this game either so uh, yeah you could argue that way but uh, one thing that is interesting which I really would uh, want to talk about and I shall do that too is once I've finally assigned these I'm just hanging in this menu so um, let's just move it um, is in this game you can design uh, like in uh, where was it was it in Motor City where you also could design like completely shit engines um, like shit engine designs like H engines and stuff and that was a really appealing aspect of these early years I have to say uh, these early pioneering years of the automotive industry and plenty of you have asked or might want to know why that's not uh, something we want to do in automation and I can easily tell you why why can't we ever go into earlier years without completely breaking the game well because all the designs all the modern designs of engines were there back in the day as well and they were superior to the other designs and people didn't really know about it but in a game which is all about the technology and gives you all the stats you would only go for the superior version obviously like why would you ever want to build something that is clearly just inferior so um, we would indeed just have those uh, all, all the artwork and stuff done basically for no real gameplay benefit because you wouldn't use them if you wanted to play the game optimally in these games where you just research finish solutions for an engine you can always trick your designs into being in a line which is competitive for its time and that is one of the big benefits of one of these more abstract games like Detroit well it just tells you well it's a, uh, it's a 750 uh, CC inline 4 and uh, yeah you 
you don't know more than that. And it's like, oh yeah, cool, I, I understand what... <gasps> we just got a, a new engine. Look at that. Look at that. Research works. The research has worked. The sign. We need to throw more more tech engineers into the grinder, into the meat grinder. Maybe that that uh, pleases the gods of research in this game, and then you get a new tech level. Um, and like this, there's no information about this. What what are you guys working on? Like 56 of you. Your sus suspension, you know, so carriage, and uh, like you know, axle stuff with wheels and stuff stuff like that we're working on i mean isn't that clear but well, nah no maybe maybe not um so now we have this super new engine and i really want an engine detail <gasps> look engine detail engine detail and i can click nowhere oh oh yeah that was right button why four cylinder inline like what capacity what how much power? How large? Uh, nothing. Nothing. There's <laughs> just no info. You have to fill in the gaps yourself. Your brain has to think of all these awesome details itself. And it's pretty cool. Um, I have to say that I thought, like I remembered this game having much more detailed information than what I'm seeing here right now. And that should tell you something. Not necessarily in my case, but I, uh, that should tell you that, ah, maybe this works by having the player fill in the missing details. <laughs> and yes, yes, that makes the game playable in that sense. So, uh, or interesting in a sense. Uh, mm, but what about our car design? Maybe we should update our luxury version. Uh, and my c make, a new, make a new luxury version with the super good engine now. Uh, I, I hope it is good. I have no clue. Maybe it says something more here? I doubt it though. Uh, so we go to the next. So this was our luxury vehicle. And can we up the part? Inline. Whoa, look at it. So powerful. Maybe, maybe not. How am I supposed to know what kind of car this engine is good for? So this would be the, let's call it the, um, Let's call it the Velan Mark 1. Uh, and yes, we shall build the car and test it all. And run the tests. Is there... Oh, look at the acceleration. It's massive. Uh, no stats there, I guess. Ah, uh, no. Top, top miles per hour? 22? Isn't that even worse than with the old car? I can't remember. So plenty of people in there, and uh, it's still just as well, 90, still 92. So you don't really need to put this on the market, I guess, uh, because there's no discernible difference between this one and the old one. <laughs> oh, good times! Oh, look! Now there is a difference. It's 10 bucks more expensive, and. Its rating has increased by 0.05%. That must be all because of this massive difference in engine technology, because that's the only difference in the car. Uh, I guess we skip this one. <laughs> or maybe we should just put it on the market just for, for the lulls. Uh, not so sure. That, no, that's, that's too much micromanagement, so fuck it. Oh, but we do have an idle factory slot here. Maybe I should use this. Uh, model, let's put the Valan in here. And assign... Oh, idle workers, plenty. There's so many idle workers. What are they all doing here? All right, so now we learned from our mistakes from last episode, which wasn't as smooth sailing as I proclaimed in the introduction. And I shall head over and see if this one is actually listed in the various, uh, uh, in the various sales, sales offices. Yes, I think that's the correct name. Let's take a look here. It is here, okay, but that's the obvious one. Let's see if it's in Europe. If it's there, then it's basically everywhere. 
detail. Yay, it worked. This time it worked. Maybe I did it somehow the wrong way around the last time. I don't know. Um, but we have so much cash. I think we can just up the office level a little bit uh, everywhere and see if that helps. Okay, not producing any more cars, but yes. Let's just go with this and see what comes out of it. If we sell all the cars now. Oh, uh, 30k gained. Mm, it doesn't look all too uh, too different to me, but yeah, let's let's roll with this. Oh, they have a liquid cooled vehicle already. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh yes, oh yes. We are ahead in the engines and safety, and they are ahead in cooling. And I hope we will be ahead in suspension and potentially luxuries. Oh, we have a little bit of a problem here, and that is the Valor Mark III. We have 300 cars just lying around doing nothing. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we need to lower the price for this one and see if it sells better then. Ah, no, that doesn't really help much. Maybe we're just overproducing in general. So, I think I'll just assign the uh, VLAN to a few slots here. And see if that helps. At least we won't be overproducing that that little boat here anymore. No, that doesn't help either. We're just overproducing in general. There's not much market. Oh wow, my competitors are doing much better than I am. So uh, maybe I really should stop the overproduction. A little bit more fine-tuning needed here in hard difficulty. So now we actually have more technicians than assembly workers. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, now we are looking much better once again. Now I'm not underproducing the Vela Mark II anymore and sales are up. It's looking much better. And I'm actually still underproducing the Vela Mark II. Okay, good to know. Let's up production even more. Oh yes, big numbers. We are back in with big numbers. So now my only question is, like, what what do we need all the money for? Oh, look at it. We have a new engine available. Engine number three, four cylinder, 848 cc. Wow, don't get too crazy here, guys. That's massive. Um, maybe not really. Uh, but. Uh, yes, we still have no luxuries and no suspension. Who needs suspension? It's awesome. Only 70 people working on it. So I think it's time for a new luxury car and new uh, new sedan. Let, yeah, let's uh, update our lineup. Okay, what do we need here? Suspension? I need suspension. Uh, so this one looks super sporty. Look at the huge air filter on top. I'm, I suppose it's uh, that is what it's supposed to be and the the handbrake is just brilliant We could just remove it entirely, but no, no, not not quite not quite there yet uh, Bumpers yes, we use the bumpers all the bumpers and luxury uh, uh, We don't have luxury damn it Okay, but new engine. This is like super sporty, you know, that's a uh, a massive difference. It probably has a half a horsepower more than the than the old version. And we shall call it the um, Vela Mark. Uh, well, it, the other one was really the Mark Mark Three. No, not really. Uh, so the Mark Three was jumped over because we messed up with the luxury car. All right, uh, remember that? That was that was weird because it said. Luxury, right, right below where I'm writing text now. Vela Mark II Luxury, like um, now that's the luxury list of st stuff in it. Anyway, so we call it the Mark IV, and we shall build the car, and now test it all. Let's see if we get the superior fuel economy. Uh, run, run the test. Oh, the acceleration is amazing. Not quite. Top speed is. Oh, still as slow as before. Oh, braking still as bad. Oh, yeah, that doesn't go well. Uh, no, so that we need new suspend suspension. Um, oh, oh, this is better. Look at it. Look at how efficient we are. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, 
That's the ultimate fa- Fuck. That's the same rating as before, basically. But we are all happy with this, I guess. So we bring it onto the market and crush our, our opposition. Um, how do we get back there? Did we now actually make it? Uh, design a car model. And next, next, next. Oh yes, there it is. With all its beautiful rating. So now we make a previous, this one, but updated with the new super powerful engine. Uh, I don't, do we need that? Uh, no, no, let's, let's not do this. Um, we shall instead put the new one into production straight away because engineering, who, who, who needs engineering? I mean, that's completely overrated. And we shall stop the production of the other one. Uh, so, northeast here and now model costs. Let's sell it also for nine, uh, let's say 950. So now we're just selling these two, the luxury version, which has zero extra luxury over the family sedan version <laughs> and looks basically the same. Uh, yeah, that, that one is, is just $100 more expensive. That's probably like the cost of half a house or something back in the day. And let's just check if it's actually being sold. Um, Mega menu details in Northern Europe. Yes, we are selling it. Exit. Okay. Remind me next time. I um, oh, I have to remind myself um, that we shall open offices in Canada, at least a one star office, and in Southern Europe, just so that we are prepared for the uh, advent of their markets. Let's see how these cars are selling now. All right, let's get going and. Uh, Comey Autos financially? No! No! Stop it! 85k though! Wow! Oh, oh. Oh, not bad! <laughs> not bad at all! I think soon we shall have a level 10 factory. Can easily afford it. Or oh, maybe not quite, but um, yeah, yes, you, you, you know what I mean. Um, anyway, we have more technicians to hire because they are spitting out engines like crazy. Let's get more of them. The only thing they're not spitting out is anything useful in the other parts. Uh, um, maybe assign them here so that they can get the next cooling, which should come out for everybody pretty soon. Oh, we're still selling off the Velomark 3. Slowly, slowly. And oh shit, we are overproducing the Velan uh, pretty badly. And. But we are also overproducing slightly, at least, the Vela. Or maybe I should just fire more workers. Or do more ads. Maybe ads help. Let's uh, do some more ads. I mean, look at these numbers. They will crush. Uh, probably there is not even a market for them. But <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? Uh, maybe this information is hidden somewhere in these reports. But I, uh, I sure uh, won't be able to find them anytime soon. All right, now we have done all the magazines. Let's do all the billboards. All right, that's done. Now sporting events. Okay, that's also done. Uh, marketing list, is there anything else? I don't think so. Oh, marketing list, let's go through by territory. As you can see, we're doing pretty well in the regions we are. So that's that's good. Let's see if that affects sales anyhow. Um, oh, I also have too much cash. So more technicians, another 14. And we shall assign them real quick. And then I just want to get some more reports here. Market by media? What? Ah, okay. Totals? Wow. 4,500 uh, total marketing costs. Not too bad. Uh, it sounds about right. Uh, so media by territory. Yeah. Okay. So that was an interesting report. Um, how about the subsystems? How are we doing here? Body, safety, engine. Okay. Nothing has changed. 
Media Review Report. Okay. Uh, the Vela, 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 Velan. Um, where is our new one? Fuel efficient. The driver is well protected. Reasonably priced. That sounds like a steal. Um, outside consultant. All right, eight thousand. Ah, peanuts. So yes, let's get him and see what he has to say. Um, your designs are mediocre. Best design, worst design. Oh no, no shit, Sherlock. Wow, eight thousand. Like eight thousand. Isn't that like? Isn't that like massive amounts back in the day? Wouldn't you just have like? Uh, uh, Wow, how much would you have earned back in the day per month? Like fifty dollars or something? Improve first, yes. Yeah, like, what What do you think I'm doing right now? Ah, uh, your cars are overpriced. What? Okay, I don't think so. And no one else says that. Excuse me. What is your company name? Yeah, exactly. So we do need more marketing, but now we have just started that, so maybe it takes a while to, to really settle. So the consultant is moderately helpful in all of this, I guess. Uh, demand, let's take a look here. Vela Mark 4, use this one. And let's check in South Europe, and because we can pay for this, right? Oh, we, we know there, we can already selling. Uh, South America, Australia, in Africa, China, Japan, in India, in the Middle East. Oh yeah, now let's do everything, just so that we know everything is, is going well. Okay, use. Yes, I pay for it, gladly. One! Okay, so we're not missing out on any opportunities, well that's for sure. Okay. Oh, there's radio ads as well, or oh, no, radio didn't exist back in the day. Uh, so no radio, <laughs> right, that will be added later on, oh wow, big profits, big, big profits, and more sales in the, in the slightly slower countries, I would think, is that correct, yeah, maybe the, all the marketing helps, and I of course forgot to put in the bank here, hmm, oh yes, we have loads of savings, so we put into this savings account another 430,000. Oh, look at it! Ah, they have come out with a sports car, so maybe we should start one now too. If there's a little market, they have done some market research, I guess. So yeah, because <laughs> this is this is one of these things that makes the game super unrealistic. Um, Maybe it doesn't break immersion too badly, but then again, it's weird. Like, this wouldn't be possible in automation whatsoever. Like, oh, your competitor has brought out a sports car. Well, next, uh, next, uh, next week, we shall have our own sports car. We shall start design right next thing tomorrow, and it will be in the shops by next week. <laughs> it's like, no, no, it doesn't work like this. It just doesn't work like this. All right, we are filthy rich once again. So now let's get started with uh, first checking out if we have anything new here. Bumpers, nope, nope, nope. Air cooled, still air cooled. Um, handbrakes, nope. Nothing fancy whatsoever. And let me see the report if they are actually in front of me in, or if they are getting ahead. Brakes! Someone has brakes! How can they have brakes already? Ah! I've been putting so much research into this. Um, maybe it's based on some kind of random chance that you get them. And the more researches you have, the higher the chance per month tick. That, that would be a research system as well. That might work, but mm, yeah. It, it would be strange. Weird to ba uh, Very hard to balance too because it's uh, so random. But um, I don't think it's working like this. Let's, oh, we have so many more available here. And let's uh, amp up the wage a little bit so that we get even more. Nah, 
maybe even more. Another 10 bucks. You guys need to come to me. And we shall crush them with a... The, uh, our brakes are kind of handy, but... now suspension. Suspension. We need super luxury vehicles and ultimate sports cars. But now uh, I have done that. I wanted to design as a final thing in this episode. Let's design a sports car. But also, let's get rid of this old scrap. Uh, that is the Vela. So... How do we... Del. Yes. Delete the car. And... No, not this one. Uh, we need to delete... This one. Delete. Yes. Okay. Previous. And there we go. So now we shall make a, uh, a super sports car and uh, type sports car. Yes. Okay. Body. Body. Body style three, four, five. Um, so what is what is in here? Let's just select something and then see what is what. Oh, this looks pretty sporty. So, body style, three, four, nope, one. One can be a sports car, I guess. This looks kind of sporty. Super long bonnet version. Yeah. Middle. Oh, yeah, windshield. Now, windshield is a luxury. I think windshield was a luxury. We haven't found it. But why is there a windshield on this one? <laughs> it's all weird. Oh, look, it has a wing. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, no, that's not sporty. No, no. Get back. Is this actually s considered sporty? I don't know. So what kind of parts do we put in there? We have so much choice, right? Um, um, like this one, maybe? Or oh, this one? I, I don't know. Brakes, handbrake, yes. Suspension. <laughs> I want a suspension. Oh! Yes, look, we just got a windshield. Perfect for a sports car. Yes, having a windshield is actually pretty good. Uh, and there was nothing else, no. Okay, suspension is still nothing. And we have no better engine either. Okay, let's get back here. And with this beautiful, beautiful new design, let's put it. Come on. No, no, stop. No, what? No, I didn't want to click there. I want to click the fucking color. Get back here. Get none. Yes, uh, use. Uh, there. Uh, fuck. Okay, this is all gone. Damn it. Um, let's redesign. And obviously you can't click the color. This is just a marker so that you know where you are and the color selector are these two arrows. Uh, kind of makes sense when you have such a small scale pixely shit in in here that is just it's not usable you would have to have really good mouse precision here and just oh remember those mice back then they were terrible those ball mice which always clogged up with your 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 grunge in your hands and ah oh, that was terrible and then you had to clean them like just fling off the, the shit from from the ball and like open them up and they these rolls were always like messed up with some kind of uh, like from from the ball and they just cluttered, cluttered with all the mess from your mouse pad ah oh, beautiful times uh, anyway we need to um, what do we need to do here now uh, part make oh yes when we make we actually get Oh no, this is not a sports car, is it? None? Type? Sports car! Yes! There we have it! So, sports car. Okay, so now, make. Okay, this is the... This is the Halbert Mark I, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah, we want to build the car. And now, prepare for the performance. It will be amazing. And has the same performance as all the other cars. And the same handling. And the same non-existent grip. And capacity, two, I hope. Yes. Cargo five. And super fuel efficient because of our new engine. And probably it sucks ass. 
Oh, 64%. Uh, okay, so what needs to be improved for this car? Apart from everything. And how? How would you do that? Well, I think this one could look pretty sporty as well. So, um, what what happens if we make this one instead? Yes. Uh, replace car, yes. And run all tests. Another 2,000 down the drain. And how is this? Oh, 75% all of a sudden. Why? Why the difference? Why is this one so much better than the other one? Oh, had four seating instead of uh, two seating. So that improved it a lot. So if we just go for this one, maybe? Oh, the, oh yeah, the open one. That looks awesome. So in the corners with your, ah, no. There is no, basically there are no lateral G-forces because the tires are so bad and the suspension sucks. So you won't be flying off. I mean, you're sitting open, but it doesn't matter. There, there are no lateral forces whatsoever. Oh, let's let's try with this one and see if this one uh, gets better scores. 88? Whoa! <laughs> wow, where's this coming from? <laughs> oh, this game is so random. <laughs> Zero feedback. Zero feedback on what you did. It's just a percentage number. Uh, why? Why is it better? Ah, all right. I think this suffices uh, for today. And in the next episode, we shall try to sell this piece of crap. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.